Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. We're almost done with our third video in our new trilogy. The project is Titan-8M. We do three videos, how to design the project, how to program the project, how to create the code, and then put it on a CNC machine and machine it so you can hold it in your hand. I got my Hewitt tool cart over here with all of my tools per my instruction sheets. So then we're gonna take all five tools, bring them down, zero everything. We're gonna zero our fixture. Once everything is absolutely dialed, we'll run the program above the part, make sure there's no crashes, make sure that all the offsets are perfect. Once that's done, we'll drop our Z right to the top of the part we're gonna run that program, we're gonna cut some chips and make it happen. All right, so we're gonna take the USB key, we're gonna pop it right in here. We're gonna go list program, go all the way up. We're currently running a job here. So before I save the program, knowing that the machine operator already has tools in like tool number one through eight, I actually changed my tools from one through five to 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I'm gonna bring it up, make sure everything looks good. Go over to USB, and press enter. I see my program right here. I'm gonna select it, and then it pops up over here. I'm gonna bring it down so I can take a look at it. Now, instead of one, two, three, four, five, like I said, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I changed my numbers right up here. Double checking everything, making sure it looks good. All right, now that everything looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my vise, put my parallels in, put my stop in, get my material located, get it all zeroed. Then we're gonna put the tools in, zero everything, and we're gonna cut some chips. All right, so I have one Tico vise located on this table. I put the Tulex hard jaws. Those are the quick snap jaws where the parallels just pop in. The hard jaw is 1.85 high. So I'm gonna take a set of parallels that are actually 1.75 high, and I'm just gonna snap them in. I gotta make sure everything's absolutely clean. There's no chips and then this guy is gonna lock that parallel down. Boom, all right, looks good. Make sure there's no chips. Your hands is always the best way just to make sure you get every microscopic piece off of there. Snap that in. All right, then I'm gonna take my material. So it's one by two by 5.55, 100 thousandths over and 50 thousandths over on the width. I'm gonna pop this guy in. It's a nice big piece, but when teaching, I like to tell people, always center. Unless you have two pieces, always take your material and put it in the center so the jaw goes straight in on it and doesn't curb at all. If you have a smaller piece and you actually put it to the side and you clamp it, the pressure will make the jaw go uneven and your part can fly out. All right, so now that the material is in place, I'm gonna put a hard stop nice and low on the left-hand side. Remember, my zero is upper left. It's the back and then the left-hand side, okay? So I'm gonna take this guy. Snug up these bolts right here. Take my Allen. Position this out a little bit. Flip it up. I'm angling it, so I'm keeping the stop down low because my cutters are gonna come around the part. So by angling it low, I keep it out of the way so I don't crash. I got 250 thousandths to deal with. I'm just gonna double check it with my caliper. 
Make sure that it's absolutely perfect. It looks good. It's not going to hit. So now it's time to start zeroing the tools and the part. Since the raw stock has a rough edge to it, I'm going to use a one, two, three block. Which is also one by two, but it's perfectly square and has a nice edge to it. So I'm going to pop this guy down, go against the stock, clamp it lightly. I'm going to go to tool 10. I got to close the doors for that. All right, now I hit M3S 1200, turn the spindle on clockwise to 1200. I'm gonna use my edge finder to edge find the side here and to edge find the back here. Then I'm gonna move in. To learn about edge finding, go to Titan Tutorials, edge finding, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. But I'm gonna speed through it right now just to get it done. Everything's zero. I did the X, moved in a hundred thousandths for the edge finder. The edge finder is 0 0.2. So you move in a hundred thousandths and that center of spindle, center of edge finder to exact edge apart. Then I moved an additional 0 0.050 to move in for the excess on the left side. I zeroed the back edge moved in the 100, and then additional 25 thousandths, and re-zeroed. Now, I'm gonna zero all the tools manually with a quarter inch precision spacer. I have an automatic tool setter, but because this is for education, I'm gonna go ahead and do it manually. So now, I got the one, two, three block in here. The block is exactly an inch, just like the raw material for the part. So I'm just gonna zero right off the one, two, three block. So I'm gonna put in the first tool. All right, now I'm zeroing my can of metal, my big heavy duty insert cutter over here. This thing is a beast. Boom, my spacer went in, everything's good. I'm gonna rotate it, make sure that everything passes and we're good. All right, the key cutter is done. Next tool. Last tool, the quarter inch chamfer. We're almost done. All right, so I went into my offset page. I looked at all the height offsets. Because I zeroed all my tools off of a one, two, three block that's perfectly one inch, just like my stock material, I took the thickness of my spacer, which is a quarter inch, the Z 
negative 10 thousandths, it's on my setup sheet, combine them together, that's 0.260, and I went right down all five tools, negative 0.260, negative 0.260, dropping my tools so they are submerged 10 thousandths under the stock material. I'm gonna run each tool, drop it down two inches above the part, make sure everything looks good, double check everything. We call this dry running, just making sure everything's good. Once I've completed the dry run, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut some chips. We're gonna make this happen. All right, so I got everything offsetted. I went into my fixture, went over to Z, put a positive two inch offset to raise everything two inches above the part. I got tool one, the Fullerton three flute drill. This thing's a beast. I'm just gonna make sure that the program's good. So I stop my Kenna Metal shell mill, my three inch. I'm looking at the height. It looks like it's two inches. I look at my work over here. It says Z zero. So it looks good. We're gonna let it run. All right, so I just tested out all the tools, two inches above, everything looks perfect. I went through tool one, the drill, the shell mill, tool two, tool three was the end mill, looked absolutely perfect. Then I had my key cutter, I watched it, it went down to 229, walked in, also perfect. Just did my quarter inch chamfer, it looked great. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna hit offset, hit it again, go to that bad boy, Go to my two inch, hit zero, F1, get rid of it. Now we're really gonna cut some chips. So I'm gonna turn the coolant back on and we're gonna make this happen right now. My binoculars, 
What is going on? Oh, man, it looks so good. Nice and clean all the way around. Everything looks good. I double checked a couple things while it was running. When the key cutter came down, I stopped it, stopped the spindle, looked at it. I made sure that it was gonna clear the wall, that everything was absolutely dialed. I double checked my tools as I was going. I never just think it's gonna be good. I just get quick at double checking my work so I can have success. We don't wanna crash the machine. You put one offset in wrong, you can crash this machine, cause serious damage to the machine and yourself. And there you go, the binoculars, the Titan 8M. But guys, we are not done yet. Right now, we're at seven minutes and 43 seconds. So now, we're gonna run fast and see if we can put a dent in that number right there. All right, guys, we just took the program from seven minutes and 40 seconds down to three minutes and 27 seconds by just making a few adjustments. That concludes today's trilogy, the Titan 8M part. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep pushing the limits, keep CNC machining. Boom, I'm out.